Lonely won't leave me alone. Lonely won't leave me alone. Why tell me why? Lonely won't let me fall in love. Oh, everywhere I go, always by my side. Lonely won't let me fall in love. Big up to the Bridget Sanchez who sang that song over. I forgot who the original singer is, but you can look that up. You can Google that up. Big up to everybody tuning in. This is your brother, King Simon. And of course, the title of this is Critical Cleansing Cycle Thoughts, because I am in my critical cleansing cycle before my birthday. And that is a cycle that everyone goes through because all of us go through seasons and cycles in our life. Just like everything on the planet, everything in the universe has its cycle. Whether you stay in your cycle as far as spiraling up or you're spiraling down, or you're staying complacent in a cycle, one linear cycle, I always encourage people to spiral up and not spiral down. And uh, please share this video because it's very important because like I said, each one of us go through a numerous uh, numerous amount of cycles. Go through, in, in, according to Russia Crucial numerology, we go through a seven cycle of 52 day periods. Uh, or, or let's say 52 days is the amount of days within the cycle, but it's seven cycles of 52 days. And one of the cycles is what we call the reputation cycle after your birthday. Then 52 days after that is the journey cycle. Then 52 days after that is what we call the energy cycle. And 52 days after that is the mental cycle. Then 52 days after that is the success cycle. Then 52 days after that is the vacation cycle. And then the last and final seventh cycle, right before your birthday comes back again, is what we call the critical cycle. And there's two books that I have in my arsenal that I use when study, when I've studied the critical cycle, but also I go with my spirit, go with my internal, because most of them call it critical cycle. I call it critical cleansing cycle because it's a time to cleanse, it's a time to reflect, it's a time to clean out of the way, clean the path. And uh, in my critical cycle, I've, 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 I've maintained it for this whole 52 days because my Earth Day is coming up on February the 1st, first day of Black History Month. And it's, it's been interesting so far, but it's been more interesting towards the last week of it because let me share a story. And I haven't shared it with anybody else but two people. One is my son I shared it with and another friend of mine um, uh, in, in Jersey I shared it with. But my first son I shared it with and a friend of mine in Jersey I shared it, shared it with who happens to be born under the number 11. And my son, who happens to be in Africa at this time, uh, on his way back, my first son. But I shared that I, my, my luggage has been misplaced. I won't say loss. It has been misplaced within the Greyhound system. And I wasn't really upset, but my spirit kept on, during the changes, while I was get, going to Texas, which is interesting, uh, from Miami via Greyhound, and that wasn't a long ride at all. It was very entertaining, very enjoyable because we have all these devices and plus I carry like 30 books with me all, all the time. So 25 to 30 books is a norm, which I'll probably cut down and really go with in this year really go within and like carry only seven books with me in my next travel which is going to come up in the next couple of months um but it was so interesting when my spirits the, when my spirit came outside there was a transfer of the buses because one bus broke down and there's a transfer and i i went outside they did tell us to get the, the, the bags outside of the um, in, inside, uh, out of, outside of the inside of the uh, bus. Uh, they told us to bring out the, the bag from inside of the bus and that they was going to transfer all 
the bags on the lower part of the bus into the next bus. But my spirit told me to go outside and check. And then an individual that worked for Greyhound uh, said, what do you need, a bag? Are you, are you, are you, you getting off the bus? Or are you, are you, are you um, leaving and this is your last stop? I said, no, I told you, y'all supposed to transfer the bags to the next bus. He said, okay, yeah, yeah, we're going to handle that. Boom. But my spirit told me to go there. So I, it's, it's very, very important that we listen to our intuition because this transfer was happening at Mobile. And then from Mobile, we got, we went to Baton Rouge and we, the, uh, apparently the bus broke down. Uh, we had to switch buses in Mobile, Alabama, and then, and then we went to Baton Rouge and then we had to, uh, from Bat from Mobile to Alabama, I think we were good. And then Baton Rouge, we had to switch buses because it broke down. And then the same bus they switched to, it broke down. So somewhere between Mobile and Baton Rouge, that's where my bag has been misplaced because I'm keeping a positive outlook. And when I, I did contact Greyhound, uh, they said it takes 90 days to get any type of compensation. If it's found, it will be sent to anywhere where I want it to be sent to. So I'm in a positive vibe because um, it's interesting that in Miami, going back to Miami, that I packed certain bags and I packed those three bags behind me. Those bags there, I packed them with the herbs that I need as far as health and, you know, my, 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 um, my, uh, my, um, elderberry, multivitamins, all that kind of stuff that I packed with, my cayenne pepper and all the different stuff that I packed with. Then the middle bag has my books. It has like a good 25, 30 books, 25 books in there. And my other bag, that gray bag, there's my computer bag, two of my computers in there. And that's why I'm broadcasting. Uh, some books are in there. Also, other paraphernalia for disaster preparedness. I got disaster preparedness stuff in there. I got the intricate disaster preparedness kit inside there. But inside my major bag, I had uh, the major, uh, major minor disaster kit because it wasn't no bigger than this. It probably wasn't no bigger than this book here, and, but it was thick. And it had other paraphernalia that I need just in case of emergency while I'm on the road. But I did carry, you know, what I, I also carried my water filters and all that stuff, which is all with me, which is interesting. I got a, a, a minor, a mini disaster kit with me with water and all that kind of stuff, or water filter, water filtration, and also emergency water. But, and like I said, I was not upset. I was concerned first because when I came off the, the bus in uh, Lafayette, when we had to make another stop because the bus made it to Lafayette and that broke down because of computer system. So the bus broke down twice. And when I looked at the bag, the, there was a bag that looked similar to mine, but when I, I know my bag, my, my bag has safe gear on it, safe gear, because it, and has the Red Cross on it because it deals with safety. It's one of those bags that are made for, um, that are durable bags that are waterproof, not water resistant, waterproof, but very strong durable bag from safe gear products. I'm not giving them any plug, but just explaining what it is. <clears throat> so. When I got off the bus and I looked at the bag, I said, oh man, that's not my bag. So I looked around and I looked and I said, you know, he, cause he took out all the bags out of the previous bus waiting for the new bus. And I said, where's all the bags? He said, the bus driver said, hey, we took out all the bags. So he looked again, looked again throughout the compartments, no bag was there. He called in, find out if there was any bags left, what have you, checking. So by the time, you know, he let me know that I had to go to, had to go to um, uh, Houston and in Houston, Texas, I would do the black bag claim, baggage claim and all that kind of stuff. And then when I called them yesterday, they told me what has, hap has to happen and what will happen in order for me to be compensated for whatever I had in the bag. Cool. I'm still cool. Um, I, I only have one set of clothes uh, until, until yesterday, but I did go to uh, Walmart, pick up the basic necessities because I still, I, and what's so funny, I also packed, I kept on me my two brush and toothpaste and a deodorant, an extra deodorant. I pack, I pack things in threes, sometimes in twos and threes. So if I have, in, in my major bag, I have all the, the, the major, the major uh, hygienic stuff, but in my minor bags, I have the minor hygienic stuff. So I still have the Q-tips, I still have certain things, but they're the minor because that's how I was taught 
um, thank you, Brother Aton Edwards, and also through my parents that we used to travel a lot from Jamaica to Canada and all these different places. But yeah, so in my critical cleansing cycle, it's always good to know your cycle because it alerts you to the positive and the negative things that can happen, the highs and the lows, but it also helps you to put you in a good frame of mind that in these various cycles, things can happen. And because I understood the cycle of the critical cycle and the cleansing cycle and what things can happen, and you know, I, I've prepared for the worst, but hope for the best. And like Bruce Lee used to say, uh, like Bruce Lee used to say um, in, in his teachings, Bruce Lee used to say, uh, um, always expect the unexpected. So even in that, I expect the unexpected. And sure enough, I was still able to do some of the consultations that I've been doing on the road because I didn't lose those three primary bags right behind me here uh, that you're looking at because that had all the materials. And I usually keep those very close to me because my work with the people is very important. And I know that some people are in need of the consultation and the numerovation consultation sessions that I do. So it's, I keep all those things. And I still have my, I still have water. I have emergency ration and water with me too. So I'm good. And I bought some packs of t-shirts, six packs at, at the, at the thing is one of the new t-shirts that I bought from Walmart and all that new pants. And, and I bought a couple of pants because you really don't need to travel with so many, so many things. You just need a couple of this, a couple of that. But because I was going to stay away, I'm staying away for two to three months. I've been gone since November after quote unquote Thanksgiving. I've been on this road. This is what, this is why I had to share this about cycles and two good books that give you, uh, the cycles, Lloyd Strayhorn's book is very good. It gives you the cycles, the, the whole rundown about the cycles. He this book, Russia Crucian Teaching, teacher by H. Spencer Lewis, PhD, on self-mastery and fate with the cycles of life. Very good book. Very good book. And I say that to say in a critical cycle, and I add it on because in my journey, or, uh, or in my journey, also a lot of the stuff when you read about the critical cycle, let's say in Lloyd's book, he'll say good time for dealing with elderly, which I keep into mind too, because my father, I was with my father in um, Florida. I've been calling my mother every week to make sure she's all right. Uh, good with dealing with real estate, mines, and things of the earth. I've been looking for property in different particular places, and I've been getting some good leads. Uh, I will discuss a lot of that with my children and family members because I want them to be a part of it because it's all about leaving legacy, especially with my, my life path being the number 17, which is an eight, is all about leaving legacy and multiple streams of income. Um, and these things can motivate you. These numbers can motivate you. Also, good for finishing and ending things. Now, I take that a little, I take that very interesting because for me to misplace, sometimes I say lose my bags, I lost my bags, I misplace, just let me know that I needed to release some stuff, release some energies, release some stuff that was probably in that bag. And I'm cool with that. I was cool with that as soon as I realized that, yes, I've been in my critical cleansing cycle since December 11th. And so so ironic, I was speaking to Lloyd Strayhorn, big up to Lloyd Strayhorn on the bus while I was heading to Texas. And he also says, you know, just be mindful of your health and all that kind of stuff. And I've been doing that. I kept up with my, my Samba call, uh, elderberries, vitamin C, zinc um, products, and all the stuff, my colon cleanse, even on my trip, just, just to maintain a balance for my health because I'm coming out of a six-year cycle going into a seven-year cycle, which is a year of reflection. So even in this cycle, I'm reflecting and, and, and meditating. Also, I want to thank a, sister, a beautiful sister named uh, Asma Zabrinsky, who actually sent me 
a Deepak Chopra meditation, 21 day meditation, which I'm on. And I'm actually, I'm really enjoying that. So I have to commend her cancer cell for uh, number six. Thank you, love and respect all the time. That That's helping me out. And I had to, even yesterday I had to, uh, when I got to the hotel the day before and I really got to the hotel, I had to take a, a cleansing bath and just just let it out. You know, sometimes you have to cry and let it out and release. And, you know, I think people could feel that because I put up a post on Instagram about men crying in the dark or crying in bed or crying in the bathroom and all that kind of stuff. And then one person hit me up. Uh, other people answered, but one person hit me up who's very intuitive also. Uh, big up to uh, Shaniqua uh, Lino, of course, the psychic uh, spiritual advisor. She she hit me up, and both of us share the same frequency And because uh, she's born February the 19th. And I'm born February 1st, but and both of us are sharing the same cycle as we're going along as far as numbers is concerned. So enough respect to her for even reaching out and feeling it because she she's very intuitive. And most people that are intuitive and she's right there cusping Pisces and Aquarius, some would say Pisces, some in certain lands will say Aquarius, but enough respect to Miss Lino, make sure you get a consultation with her and make sure you support uh, Asma uh, Zabrinsky's book when it comes out. Her, she's a chef, a vegan chef, and and also she's a great numerologist also. So uh, of course, Lloyd Strayhorn all the time and everyone that's around us in our circles. But just remember, each one of you go through critical cycles. I know you're watching this either on, on your phone or your, your television and your smartphones, your smart television. And, and you know, I, I, I really, in, my, in this whole cycle of observing, because like I said, getting out of my six year cycle, seven, going in my seven year cycles, I'm in the crossroads of my life, making some major decisions. So more things are coming up after my birthday. I'll be making some beautiful announcement of different workshops I'm gonna be doing. I'm not gonna be doing full out presentations no more. I'm going into my 25th year of promotion and production. Two and five is the seven. It's a year for me to observe and listen and just lay back and watch. And it's time to do the workshops. It's time to do the applicable 50 to 60 people seminars and workshop. If you don't get in, you just don't get in. Or uh, if we do two days or, or, or just up to 100 people and that's it. But it's, it's all about taking in the notes taking down the information and learning how to apply each and every lesson that you learn. Uh, I want to commend people like uh, uh, Billy Carson. I went to his workshop on, on June, January the 4th. Got a lot of information. Matter of fact, the book, <laughs> matter of fact, this is what's so interesting because matter of fact, the book that I wrote all the notes down and I was going looking at it every other day to remind myself because a lot of the stuff he said I, re I recall from my past and from past experiences with a lot of different babas. But uh, what's so interesting, the book that I wrote a lot of that information down is in the bag uh, that I misplaced in Greyhound. But it's all right because a lot of the stuff is internalized. Remember, nothing in your mind doesn't go out of your mind. It probably gets put in certain compartments and you don't remember it. But that's why we have to get a recall, recall, recall. You remember total recall? Sometimes we got to get that recall, go into that meditation. And sometimes it comes up in different spurts and different times and different ideas come back. And I was writing a whole bunch of ideas and how to use my ministry of numerovation and how to put that into effect. I am a spiritual ordained minister, so I can do ceremonies and marriage ceremonies and uh, naming ceremonies with the numbers because it's it's a ministry of numerovation that I have. And I try to help guide people, not try, I do guide people. It depends on how they take the interpretation, how they move on it. So be very, very uh, conscientious of your cycles because we all go through it. We all go through it. Don't be afraid of it. Embrace the positive, embrace the negative, but balance it out so you understand and know where you're going because it gives you direction. It's not, I'm not gonna tell you when, in, in my sessions, I don't tell you when you're gonna die and all this kind of craziness. Uh, you know, it's not necessary to do that for you. Uh, there's those 
profound numerologists of the past, and some of us can do it today. So we can we can pinpoint cycles that are weaker for you and weaker times for you that you'd have to be a little bit more mindful and cautious, especially as you're getting older, especially if you're doing risky things or all that kind of stuff. Yes, there's there's pinpointed cycles and seasons, but I'm not going to, you know, no one knows your day when you're going to die unless you're, you're, you take the, the gun and shoot yourself or you take the pill and kill yourself. And that's, that's not, that's, that's not necessary. Whatever problem you are going through, take it from somebody that almost took their, their life years ago, three times. But remember, no matter what you're going through, there's always something on the other side. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel that says, hey, wait a minute, you got more work to do. You've got more work to do. So each one of you are in uh, your critical cycle 52 days before your birthday. So if you want to find out more about the critical cycle and your personal critical cycle, either you can go and research it yourself. These are two great books, Numbers and You by Lloyd Strayhorn. And this one is a more extensive book that Lloyd recommends. And this one is called Self-Mastery and Fate with the Cycles of Life. Two good books. But if you want to do a numerovation session and let me explain how to work these cycles that you're in or the particular cycle that you're heading into or the year to year cycles that you're in, don't don't hesitate to do a session with me. It's helpful. It help you to become a better, higher and wiser individual. Your DNA structure changes when you do sessions, whether it's numerovation, whether it's cardiology, whether it's cosmophysics, whether it's astrology, whether it's tarot. Information in your head changes, especially if you're not used to it and you've been so used to a religious mindset. And I'm not saying anything's wrong with religion because they have their ways and their methods of doing uh, quote unquote profit type stuff or they call it prophetic stuff. A lot of them they call it because there's a lot of people calling themselves prophet and prophetess and all that. They call them prophetic because they and they're reading future and reading people, but they're not going to call it psychic or intuitive, or they're not going to call it what we call it uh, divination, divine nation. They're not going to call it all that. Don't be afraid of the divine nation because all of us are divine. I don't care what you are part of. I don't care what color you are. All of us are divine as long as we have the energy that resides and works through us. Some are a little uh, disagreeable and some are a little agreeable, but the energy is not evil. Positive energy and negative energy is not evil. It becomes an evil interpretation or negative interpretation or bad or good interpretations in this realm because of what people do with the energy or the down or the lower energy that 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 push them towards that. But maybe they were supposed to do that. Everything is synchronicity. So briefly, I just wanted to come up here and say uh, thank you all for your support and love uh, through this cycle and throughout my journey in this realm. I want to thank each and every one of you that has done a session with me or come back and do another session with me. I always tell people numbers are here to guide, it's here to reveal, not conceal here to give you guidance and all of these modalities are here to give you some type of guidance and each one of them has a leaf or a branch to offer each one of them have a branch to offer only you at the end of the day is going to decide what you're going to do and what you're going to do for yourself for your family and for your nation like uh, george frazier say you learn you earn and then you return it so all the great talents and gifts and skills that you have or you need to develop, I can put you, put, put you in the right direction through the, by sharing the information about your numbers through numerovation. Lloyd can put you in the right direction. Raul Koo can put you in the right direction. People like uh, Blue Pill with his whole Gematry and 44 connection and it can put you in the right direction from his own perspective. Um, great people like Quiet Storm, Kaya French, Asma, uh, Zabrinsky also, who's a great numerologist, studied under Lloyd Strayhorn, um, and others, great people that I, I, you know, I can't recall all of you right now, but respect. Even Dr. Ali Muhammad, he has his own system of his divine nation system. 
and the Wonder Worker system, even people like Samuel F. Reynolds and all the people that was a part of the Zodiac Lounge, all of them, every one of us are using our gifts. And yes, you have to give a, a, a love gift or circulate a donation because that is our time. And a lot of people don't know after a lot of these sessions, look, over, even over the phone. That's why I don't do face-to-face -face sessions because face-to-face -face sessions is so draining to me. Because even over the phone, I have to take, after two or three uh, sessions, I got to go take a nap because it can be very draining for people who are impact. And although I'm an Aquarius sun, I have a lot of water and earth in my, my, my charts, especially when it comes to uh, astrology. So I understand that why I, I got to be careful of energy and energy, energy draining situations and energy draining people because a lot of people are in need of some type of guidance. And sometimes just writing down the mathematical equation of the name and the birthday can be all interesting, but I'll look at the paper before I even pull out anything. I look at the paper and I'll say, hmm. This person is this. Mm, this person needs to do this. This is what I'm doing in my head and downloading all these different things before I look at the paper. So I, you know, I take this thing very seriously. I take it very seriously. And everybody that I mentioned takes it very seriously. Just make sure we all stay focused. We all are here to serve and help the people, help guide the people the best way that we can. And I am always a student learning to ascend to that mastery. I am ascending to that mastery, but I'm always a student, even if you wanna call me a master. I don't even like being called a master, although friends like Queen Need always say, accept the mastery. I'm not, I'm not putting it away, I'm just saying, I always wanna be open to learn. Always be wanna be, oh, I wanna be a sponge of knowledge and information and, and, and all the downloads and uploads that's being offered to me. Never be arrogant, because sometimes you have certain people that call themselves masters or wanna claim this master teacher thing, and they can be as arrogant as <laughs> anybody's business. It's just not my spirit. From the all of my heart, I wanna help and guide. All of my being, I wanna, cause I, I know it's from all of my being, cause after I do these sessions, man, especially if I, I, and I try to do like three or four a day, I am burnt out and I need rest because it takes a lot because I'm giving, 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 giving. And then I have to go and replenish by either go sitting in water, or go take a walk, go make a run, go work out, go train, go do some meditation, go do, Tai Chi or Qigong or some martial arts move and work out, do my stuff from what, I, what I've learned in the martial arts over uh, since 1985 all the way to now. You know, it's it's serious business, you know, and especially that I'm, I'm an interdependent. I'm interdependent, not just independent. I'm interdependent because it's a give and take. It's all about giving and taking. So I'm interdependent with you out there also. So once you give me and help me, I help you and help others. So that the, the, you know, it's very important that we learn to circulate and keep things circulating in a positive form, not, be, not becoming stagnant. So once again, family, please share this video. And if you do wanna do a numerovation consultation with me, please text me your full name and date of birth. If you're outside of the United States, you text me via WhatsApp, or you email me at king uh, either at king simon productions at gmail or you can email me at numbers the letter r simple that's numbers with an s at the end the letter r and simple at gmail and if you want to keep it simple i am king simon at gmail you can hit me up at i am king simon at gmail or hit me up on the D dm me on king simon productions dm, DM me at new numeroversity at uh on instagram uh hit me up in private message on facebook that's king simon or king simon productions on facebook or mc simon and uh i'm on twitter also if you want to be a part of my twitter family also you can hit me up there and that's king simon prod at twitter also you can join my website family my is a under construction but you can still get information off of there and that's king simon productions dot wordpress.com that's king simon productions .wordpress.com. and for all the events that's coming up i'll be posting some events in this month of february right after my birthday i'm born like i said february 1st 
right after my birthday, and that would be kingsimonproductions.eventbrite.com. That's kingsimonproductions.eventbrite.com. Love and peace to all of you. Love and respect to all of you. Love and respect to myself and my family and my ancestors and your ancestors and your creative force within you and outside of you, giving you guidance at every point of the day. Remember, get my book, Numbers Are Simple, People Are Complicated. My other book, Numbers Are Simple, Our Children's Health is Important, and my other book, No Promotion is Bad Promotion, all under Dr. Laila Africa's um, public, public publishing company called Charles Child Publishing. So anytime you support me, you support the elder. And he just celebrated his birthday and his wife celebrated her birthday also early in the month of January. So as you support me, especially with those three books, my next books are going to be produced solely by me and my family. But those three books in particular, when you support me, you support the elder, Dr. Laila Africa and Dr. Melanie Stevens, Africa also. All right. Have a great day, afternoon, or evening, wherever you may be. Like I said, text me 347-496-1022, your full name and date of birth. If you're outside of the United States, use WhatsApp. If you're in Canada, Africa, anywhere like that, use WhatsApp. If you're inside of the United States, text me on the regular phone, 347-496-1022, or email me, I am King Simon at Gmail. I am King Simon at Gmail. Do not spell Simon with an E at the end. That's Simon. <laughs> Simon, S-I-M-O-N. All right. Have a great day, afternoon, evening. Be at peace. Take care.